Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy McFinan to welcome back to yet again another video. And today guys we'll be trading NFP standard procedure, man. You know, you know the vibes. So I just want to show you guys how I'm gonna be trading NFP today. And um yeah man, before we get into the video guys, just make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, yeah guys, it's a road to 10k subscribers, baby. Let's go ahead and analyze the markets. Before I analyze the markets, guys, this is the app that I use to check my news events and the economic calendar. And this app is Fazbull. Before the NFP event, guys, I went into this chat room and, you know, this is where people actually discuss what they are looking for in the markets. And uh, I just wanted to see what people are thinking of the NFP event. Also, you can customize the way you want your economic calendar to look like. For example, I only wanted USD symbols and that is how I customized it. And if you only want top news only, you can actually select that. So yeah, guys, for more info, just make sure to check out Fazbull down in the description down below. And uh, let's continue with the market analysis. Okay, guys, so it's currently 14.03. And um, yeah, I did some market analysis on US 30. This is the four hour time frame. As y'all can see, we are sitting on a support level. This was resistance and then the market broke, came as a support and this is another support. So I am looking for buyers on this one. We're looking to go to the upside and break the structure and continue going to the upside with uh, US 30. So today I'm actually going to trade US 30. So let us look at NASDAQ. Okay, so NASDAQ, we had this level of uh, support 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 and then became resistance also over here this was a level of sensitivity and also this one was a level of sensitivity uh resistance resistance and then support support then broke below this one i'm looking for nasdaq to actually come over here to this level of sensitivity but for now i'm not interested in trading nasdaq because it comes from a long sell so yeah that one i'm not interested so we're gonna go over to gold okay so we were at resistance resistance and then support support then this one was a slight resistance but it actually broke then over here we have another level of sensitivity this was uh resistance resistance and then became support then over here this was a resistance this was a resistance right but one thing guys here we are on the four hour time frame let me just go over to i think the one hour if i'm not wrong okay this is the one hour time frame y'all can check this out this was uh resistance resistance market came over to this level of resistance and then this then became support so this can actually break and come over there so yeah gold might actually buy also so yeah with gold i'm actually looking to buy gold uh, but today I'm actually gonna trade US 30 because US 30 looks clean to me. This looks very clean for me. So yeah, I'll be looking to trade US 30 today. Looking for a nice buyer. Let's get it, guys. I'm gonna share the screen recorder when it's actually around half past two. And uh yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yo guys, uh we got chugged by US 30. They actually sold, but I'm kind of mad because of Gold actually went my direction. Guys, uh, we got chopped. <laughs> we got chopped by US 30. The market didn't actually go to the upside, did actually go to the downside. But um, yeah, guys, that is the reality of trading. That is the reality of trading NFP. So yeah, man, look at gold. I was expecting it to go to the upside, they go to the upside. And also with the uh, NASDAQ, I was expecting Nasdaq to actually go to the downside. It did go to the downside. I'm still asking myself why did I choose the one that's gonna make me lose. But anyway, guys, that's just how it went. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.